Okay, I'm going to show you uh, the strategy I use to uh, upload uh, data into REDCap, especially, and this is assuming that I've already got the variable set up in REDCap, and it also um, assumes that the data set that I'm going to upload doesn't really match the structure of, of the REDCap um, project. So let me show you uh, one strategy for doing this. So you can see here I've got um, the uh, diet intake data, which is uh, 04. Um, the dialysis B04, and across the top I've got um, the names of my different fields, my different variables, and all the information here. Now what I need to be able to do is pull this into REDCap, and I don't want to have to sort of copy and paste, and, and I'm going to show you how to do that a little bit easier. Also, look, what I've already done is open the project in uh, in REDCap, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my data import tool. I'm going to click on that. Now it has really nice instructions, um, and you can pretty much just follow those. But one of the things I'm going to do is I need I'm going to download my <coughs> data import template with my records, that is to say each case in its own row, and that's how, if you remember, um, this data set is set up. So here are all my uh, participant IDs in my rows. So I want this format, so I'll go ahead and download that and open that up. And you can see that what I've got across the top are all of my fields in REDCap. Now, here's the challenge. The fields in REDCap are uh, different. They're in different orders. Uh, they're um, different fields, and they're also named something different because in REDCap there are particular kinds of naming conventions for variables that um, aren't the same in, say, other data sets. So, for instance, we'll go back to our analysis B04, and you can see that I have spaces in here, um, etc. So I have to have these two things match. Well, what's one strategy for doing that? First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to order, uh, I'm going to reorganize my uh, data set that I'm pulling in um, alphabetically based on uh, the, the first row, which are my, my variable names. So I'm going to do a data. I'm going to do a sort, and it'll be, I'm going to do a custom sort, and in this case, I want to, um, I want to sort uh, not by um, column, but by uh, left to right, so I'm, I'm sorting left to right rather than up and down, which is normally what happens. I'm going to sort by row one, click OK, and now you can see that I have sorted alphabetically. Now here's one thing you have to watch out for. Notice it's putting the percent, uh, it has a percent sign for percent calories. This is going to cause a little bit of a problem later on. I can solve my problem now by writing in percent, and this will put this back with the P's, and you'll see um, later why this is pretty important. But let's assume that I've, I've done that. Okay, so now I've got this one, um, and I'll go ahead and resort that so you can uh, see. So I'm going to do my custom sort again, options, left to right, okay. And it's going to resort. Now those ones that I just substituted the percent word for percent sign, those are back in the P's. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a couple of... Um, empty rows at the top, okay, uh, just a couple. Um, and this is going to give me some space, and you'll see why, you, why I'm going to do that. Now I'm going to jump back over to the, uh, the um, red cap, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and sort, all right, uh, custom sort, options, left to right, okay, and so now it's in alphabetical order. I'm going to go ahead and take copy this row now, and I'm going to put it in my raw data file. Okay, paste, boom. And now what will happen is um, I'm going to ignore these, because if I had put the percent word in up here, the first one would be 3-methyl. 
Okay, um, I may actually, to make it a little bit more readable, I'm going to go ahead and format this so that it wraps, and that means I can actually see. All right, boom. All right, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one as well, because what I'm doing is um, I'm wanting to be able to see what the cells are. Now, I, pr I know I pretty much want everything that's going to be in this bottom, but I don't want everything in the top. And so one of the things you'll see is, for instance, albumin. Um, albumin is going to fall somewhere. Where is albumin? Arginine, alcohol, alanine, added sugars, um, alanine. Okay, so I need to basically get this one to line up with this one. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, I can insert um, cells. I'm going to shift the cells right. Okay, and do you see how I'm just kind of moving that uh, over? Okay, and I can make it where it's going to line up with, um, I'm going to make that line up with uh, alanine and keep doing that. Um, the other thing I just, you know, I, I could also do, I've got added sugars is right here. Okay, so let me go ahead and keep moving those over just a, a little bit and again once you get um, once you get the hang of it I think I can actually uh, insert if I do this insert uh, right yeah it added those so now what I can do is I've got added sugar uh, added sugar by something or other added sugar I can actually just dr drag these over okay um, added dietary whatever that is I don't know what that is um, alanine now I can just like I had inserted before I can delete the cell I'm going to shift it left okay alcohol I don't know where my albumin is so I'm gonna keep doing this alright until I start and what's the nice thing is if I had um, labeled these as percent and this is why I showed you earlier if I label these these would all be back in the P's and I could it would be very easy to um, start lining these up alright um, and so I'm just gonna go through here's animal protein um, and the fits not gonna be perfect but it's gonna be a whole lot better than um, if I was just trying to uh, cut and paste and move these around. Now, let's assume that I've done this, and so now you can see they're all lining up quite nicely. Occasionally, I'm going to have a variable down here that I'm not going to use. Um, it's not in my um, uh, data set in REDCap, and for those, if I'm not going to use it, I would put an empty space above, and I would just delete the whole thing. Now I would use beta carotene, but you get the idea. I would just take out the ones I don't need. Um, also, when I get over, there are a number of uh, BIA. Okay, do you see all the BIA stuff? All of this is in red cap, um, the um, bun, the body temp, etc. All of these can go, so I can clear these cells, okay, and or delete them. Um, also, columns intentionally left blank. I know I don't need any of these. Again, I do want copper. And so this is kind of the cleanup. So as I go through and I'm cleaning and just matching all these up, once I've got this saved, then I'm going to get rid of my two, uh, my empty row, and I'm going to get rid of the old um, variable names and then what I'll do the one last step is I'm going to take my participant ID which is going to be way over in my P's okay so my participant ID uh, wherever I've got that listed and once it's lined up I'm going to pull that back to the very front okay so because what REDCap needs to do is it needs to see those participant IDs I'm going to and I would put my participant ID right here. And so it will match the participant ID in REDCap to the data right here, and it'll pull it just uh, just pull it right in. And it's really nice. And the other thing is REDCap has some uh, a checker 
Um, so what I'll do is I'll you know save that as a CV, a CSV, which is just comma delimited file, and then upload it. And if there are any errors or it has problems, it'll flag you. And you may need to do it a couple of times. You know there was some kind of mismatch. But once you've done that, all you have to do is click the upload file, and boom, you're done. All the data is in there. So the real hard work, or the not hard, but the, the kind of work is going through and as you can see, just sort of shifting around and making sure all of these line up. That's the real key. And after that, uh, the upload is really quite simple.